I'd like to offer to the senator from Oklahoma a compromise and tell him that I have spent the time, much of the time when he was speaking, reading Senate Bill 3832, one-page bill, which calls for a study, a plan, rather, uh, within 60 days from USDA and FDA, and within one year, a joint report from Congress, a GAO report. I'm going to join him on this. And what I'd like to suggest is follow. Uh, because I'm committed, as he is, to a single food safety agency, I would like to amend my unanimous consent request and make this a Coburn-Durbin amendment, which will be offered, which I guarantee I will work night and day to get passed with him as part of this bill, so we address the overall issue. But in the meantime, while we are spending six months or a year moving toward this goal, let's at least make the current system as safe as we can. Let's do everything we can to protect the people of this nation. So what I'd like to suggest to you is, I'm going to join you in a compromise here. I will add as an amendment to the bill and co-sponsor with you your language in Senate Bill 3832 and ask my colleagues on this side of the aisle, all of them, to join us in voting for it. If you will now remove your objections so we can go forward on this important historic debate. I appreciate the Senator's offer. I, can't, uh, I cannot do that, but I, I would also want you to know that this bill isn't going to solve that gentleman's problem from, from Owasso, Oklahoma. This bill isn't going to solve that, Senator Durbin, because we're not fixing the real problem. In my time, and say to the gentleman from Oklahoma, you can't tell me how badly you feel for these victims and then stop the bill where we're trying to protect them. You can't tell me you want reform and bring the agencies together when I offer it to you and you reject it. The bottom line is, the description you've given up here is about the USDA, and this bill is not about that agency. It's about the Food and Drug Administration. So I would say to the senator from Oklahoma, I agree with you. I want to help you with this. But if you won't allow us to bring to the fore a bill we've worked on for a year and a half, if you won't offer an amendment along the lines which you've suggested, then all you're doing is saying no. If you're saying we can't afford safe food in America, I disagree. I think we can afford it, and I'm willing to cut other spending to pay for it. That's the only way it can get through an appropriations process. But to just say no after all the work that's gone into it because you don't happen to like it. If you don't like it, offer your amendment. If it's a good idea, the Senate will accept it. If you don't have an amendment, then you're like me, Monday night, watching football when the Bears play the Packers, deciding what Jay Cutler should be doing as, as quarterback. It's pretty easy from that armchair. But I want you to come down to the field, Senator Colburn. Offer your amendment. Be part of the conversation. Don't just stand there and say no. As you say no, people will suffer and some will die. And I think that is fundamentally unfair.